but we wanted to share with you something really exciting. Um, we're joined today by Jackie Baker, who's the founder and owner of Select, and I'll let her intro you in a minute, but we're going to share with you now how Jackie um, wrote a simple email, working with us at Media Matchmaker, we built some media lists and we sent it out. I'm going to share with you the results that she got, which is fantastic. So welcome, Jackie. Thank you very much. Um, sorry, just to hop in there. And I know it's a very easy uh, slip up to make. Select connections. Select connections. I'm so sorry. So <laughs> sorry. Done. Yeah, but please check it out. Actually, it's select-connections.com. Um, and you'll want to. So tell us what you specialize in, Jackie, before we get into the exciting bits as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I started up a business um, during the pandemic. Uh, I have been running singles events some time ago uh, after becoming single myself and seeing that there was nothing in the market for for my demographic. And then during the pandemic, I decided to sort of pivot slightly and set up Select Connections, which allows people that attend my events to date off well privately and confidentially and not at an event a lot of people in their 50s and 60s don't want to be seen to be um, out there looking for a partner so this gives them a platform to go to to be able to meet someone else and um, do it as I said privately and confidentially which is a big thing to a lot of people especially in their 60s so I have been working at this tirelessly for this last 18 months and I decided then to approach Rachel. <laughs> so tell us of the journey, because you came on one of our uh, sessions. We had a PR planning live before Christmas to talk about how to plan all your PR. And the great thing is with you, you've got your stories, haven't you? You've got your angles. We talked about the forward planning. And then I think the missing piece of the jigsaw puzzle for you was the journalist contacts, wasn't it? It was getting the right type of contacts, the relationship experts, the lifestyle experts, news if it's a news story so you could get the, the journalists that specialize in relationships and send them kind of press releases emails expert comments that kind of thing so you signed up to what's called our access all areas media pass which is access to the media database now what we did was we had our uh, getting you set up started um on wednesday <laughs> and prior to that i said to you do an intro email so an intro email is just simply introducing yourself, telling them these are the topics that you can talk about and you specialize in and you would love to either contrib contribute or, you know, offer a debate if it's a radio station. So Jackie in advance had prepared her intro email and we give you the intro emails and examples and Jackie's going to share hers with us when you come on board as well and, and you're one of our clubs. It's quite simple. It's not rocket science. <laughs> And then, and then we built some media lists, didn't we, Jackie? So where did we build the media list? Can you remember or can you share? Um, well, we, um, we just going back a little bit to what you were saying is that, you know, in those 18 months that I was, I, you know, I had my story, as you said, I had the story, but I tried and I tried and I tried and I tirelessly again tried to contact magazines and publications and everything, but they just didn't take any notice of my anything. And then when I approached you, Rachel, I took your, your, your complimentary um, membership and then I decided it was time for me to, to, to step into the the, the database and you sent obviously everything that's on 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 the system is so helpful and you had different examples of emails intro emails and I took one out and started to work on it and then sent it to you and then you you spent the time with me beforehand and with your expert opinion and, and a lot of tweaking we got the the email sent out and we you, you helped me pick the right um areas health so let's just share the journalists then so we won't go and share all their contact details because obviously it's confidential but we'll just share the list that we created for you so we just created a number of lists and we targeted really for now i mean there's over sixty thousand journalists in this database but what it allows us to do is we can search for journalists and save lists by what they talk about so what we did here is we look, looked for freelance journalists that write about relationships in general We've got a golden media list, which we won't expose and where it is, but it's it's TV and some radio, you know, where we want to be. Then we looked for keywords for journalists that just write about relationships overall. So it's 271. Then we got her local because she got a local angle with it. So we got to a local radio station. We also went to all of the BBC radio producers because they're always looking for debates. And what she can talk about is great for a debate for radio. 
we then looked in, for just the national journeys, just about relationships. So we really niched it down. I mean, obviously there's hundreds of lifestyle journeys, but we just went for the national journalists, the national newspapers, just for uh, talk about relationships. And then we went for her local media. So those were the targeted emails that we sent out. We slightly adapted um, we sent three different emails, one with a local region, a local angle, and all we said was where you were from in Hampshire. We then did one for radio, so we just said this would be great as a broadcast, as a, as a debate, and then we did it for newspapers to say it would be great for your readers. So we just personalised it a little bit. So while we were on the interview, not the interview, your training, literally we sent it out and it was within five minutes, wasn't it? What what happened? <laughs> Absolutely. Within five minutes, um, I had I think the first one came from, I think it was BBC Radio Solent. Um, and then within, I mean, all within a few hours, um, I'd had BBC Radio Solent, um, the Echo, which is a Hampshire-wide newspaper, um, asking if I would be interested in, in uh, being a weekly columnist for them. Um, James Priest, who is the dating guru, he, he advises and writes for all the major newspapers and advises dating agencies, uh, asked me to sit on a podcast with him. Um, um, I have to keep checking here. Uh, Global Love Report, which obviously I would know, uh, is a a worldwide matchmakers and agencies network and they would like me to write an article for them. Um, BBC Yorkshire are, are lining up something for me as we speak and I suppose the biggest one um, so far out of them is that the Sun newspaper fab supplement want to do an exclusive on me and are calling me for an interview on Wednesday. Amazing. Well, I mean, well done. It just blown away. And I mean, you kept, I said, keep me posted. So it all happened literally within 24 hours, which is why we wanted to jump in. Now, I think what you said at the beginning was great. And thank you. You tried so many times before. And I think, what do you think the bit that was different that's made it work for you this time? I think because it was coming from a source that they definitely coming from a source and also going to going to the heart of where it needed to go. You know, you, you've got those contacts there that, I mean, the, the difference is it's just unreal. I mean, it's, we can see it, it's the proof is in the pudding. And you know, and then I'm, I'm also on Radio Solent on Thursday. So. I know, so you can't join our PR Hour Live training, which no, is a I real shame. What is great as well, I want to share with you. So one of the journalists that came back from her regional newspaper that asked her to be the columnist came back first and said, oh, we featured you two weeks ago. And you didn't even realise you'd been featured, did you? So you said, oh, where? You had a bit of engagement. And they asked if you could be a regular contributor. Now, all this is amazing stuff, not just from a profile, from a getting publicity that's going to help your business and to bring your clients in and, and, and spread awareness but amongst your peers as well like you say you know the 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 podcast is absolutely brilliant because he's a relationship guy but this global news where all your peers all the matchmakers across the whole world you know you're going to be showcased it's really going to elevate your profile which is what PR is all about you know there's a few things it's about raising profile building credibility and getting more customers so i.e cash in the bank and one thing leads to another and this was just one simple email. And what is great now is we haven't even scratched the surface. We're building your list, have we? There's, mm. you know, there's so many different journalists that you can contact. If there's a trending news story, you can react to it, um, which is absolutely fantastic. So how do you feel? Are you nervous for your interviews? Have you, do you feel it's been worthwhile? How do you feel? <laughs> I will be nervous, but I'm ready to embrace everything because I've been trying for so long to make it happen and it hasn't and now it's like it's it's just happening I had such a headache yesterday I said to my son I got I said Karen you're never going to believe it um the son I want to do something on me and he was like oh mom I said I've got a headache <laughs> It's absolutely brilliant. And to say that you've been featured in the sun and to say that you're a regular columnist now, these are all the massive things that will be great for your media profile for when you approach the other journalists. So it literally does have, and we talk about this so many times, a snowball effect, but it's so wonderful to see from someone that has been trying to do PR, 
but it just wasn't quite working just there was something missing and I, and I do genuinely hand on heart because I've been doing this a long time and I've seen it many many times you know it's just the right type of contacts um you know and and, and having the time to just send the right type of email and we just tweaked it didn't we because journalists want to feel that it's a personalized email which we do make sure it is you know so what you can do now is build those relationships in the future next week as well um you've got all the social media contact details haven't you from the journalists so you can start following them they can follow you back so this is literally the first step to your publicity isn't it and your media journey it certainly is and it's you know it's what what a first step really you know it's it's it's, it's it's a massive initiation and it just falls in the right time for me as I have written all the blogs and I'm becoming this dating expert for the over 50s and it's just hitting all the right people at the right time and already uh, you know someone has asked me to write an article for them on how people begin again at the age of 50 when they find themselves single or 60 or 70 so it's 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 I couldn't think of a better time for it all to slot in together. But I think as well, you made a really good point. It's not just a better time for you. It's actually a great time in with the media. And this is what you need to have. And, and on Monday, I'm going to be going live, hopefully in the group. I'm doing this in the page at the moment, but I'll share it with the group to share kind of tips on your here so that you can get publicity on how you can get the most out of getting PR and working with journalists because it's a time we know that relationships sadly break down in January there's a high you know people going to the divorce there's programs on TV at the moment is celeb go dating because this is where it all started didn't it you know yeah. Rika yeah. Johnson over the age of 50 you know good for her power to her going back out dating that you know people want to life and and and, and also not necessarily they always want a relationship they're just happy you know you know to be on their own it's not always about meeting someone with the services that you offer it's the coaching as well so it's very timely so the media actually want her stories which is absolutely brilliant so it is literally a win-win but the fact is it's got posted to the right type of journalists so before we wrap up I just want to share with you if you're thinking that you may want to kind of get the same success you know, we offer a satisfaction guarantee. Let me just move this out of the way with uh, with Media Matchmaker in that you can watch a demo on how it works here. If you go to the Media Matchmaker page and just click on um, our packages, you can see a media database demo here. Now, if you wanted to join and give it a go, you can sign up with a satisfaction guarantee. So it is a 12 month commitment to this media database because the value is massive, as I'm sure you can understand, you know, and then that's always kind of a, it's always it's always a bit scary, isn't it, when you commit into 12 months, Jackie, and I'll ask you about that, how you feel about that now. So I really appreciate those that do take the kind of that step forward. However, we give you satisfaction guarantee by saying, look, when we when you come on board, we'll have our initial getting you started, helping you build some media lists. If you can write your intro email in advance, great. We can hopefully get time to do the same for you. If during that first meeting you do not feel that the media database is right for you, that's no problem. You won't be tied in for the 12 months. What we'll do is we'll downgrade your media pass and turn it into a backstage annual media pass, which actually is you've got by far value because the backstage media pass is, is worth up to £348. So it's a win when you haven't really got anything to lose. But then you've, you've booked in an hour. We'll book in an hour with me. We have up to an hour to build your list, find out a bit about you and send out your list and get you started. What would you say to anyone, Jackie? And because I get so excited when this happens and it's almost too good to be true, isn't it? What would you say to anyone that, because we're all here because we want publicity and I was exactly the same, which is why I set Media Matchmaker up because I wanted to raise my profile. What would you say to anyone that was kind of thinking, oh God, is it for me, isn't it for me? Oh my gosh. Well, you know that, you know, when I contacted you about, you know, uh, upgrade in the past and also the, the backstage media pass got, you know it it it's really worth a try because I got the journal you know the 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 uh, and request the media finder, request yeah, yeah the finder which the echo picked up so you know but to get the real traction you need to get into the database I would for me being a a a a solopreneur at the moment every penny counts and to take that step into um committing for a year it it was it was a once I decided it I knew that I was doing the right thing but I had no idea how right it was you know it's already like already I don't know it's paid for itself I don't know how many times over by the time you'd go and take an editorial somewhere yeah. um so gosh yeah I, I think if if this is the, the direction you need to get you somewhere then with a, a shadow of a doubt 
brilliant thank you guys we're going to be going live um on monday hopefully as we say in the group um and if we do then uh please watch we're trying to get into the group we're trying to do more lives in here so um if you can watch us, watch us in the group on Monday, because I'm going to be going through how you can get Media Matchmaker to work for you. Even if you're just a starter media pass backstage or access or over access area, access all areas, we want to help you secure publicity and to connect you to the right journalists. We've got more and more journalists joining every day as well, and also joining the group. So journalists, let us know if we can help you with any stories. Um, I'm going to stop this recording now. Jackie, I'm probably going to lose you, but come back onto the Zoom in a minute, because I never know how to stop it when it's live on Facebook. So oh, well, just come on in, uh, back on in a minute but guys hopefully uh, you know you found some inspiration from that it's not too difficult we guide you every step of the way we have training sessions as well we have a pr hour live training on the second last thursday of the month with a theme and then the first Thursday is just a PR hour live where you can just ask your questions. Jackie can't join us next week because she's doing a radio interview, which is, you know, that's, <laughs> that, there you go. Thanks, guys, for watching. And Jackie, I will see you back on Zoom in a few okay. minutes and I will speak to you all soon. Take Thank care. You. Bye.